All right, Brad, so we've talked about four decisions that we've made. Let's talk about the fifth one. And this one is pretty big and sort of appropriate given the context in which we are sitting here right now. It was starting our YouTube channel. I'd, I'd like to say that this was deliberate. But there's always, there's this little element of, like I said, is I, I talk about this all the time, is you never know what is the best day worked. And I'll never forget, our YouTube was, we were happy as we could be doing the YouTube, the I mean the was, podcast. podcast. Podcast was doing great. Um, so well that Progressive Commercial reached out to us and said, you know what, guys, when we think about, we have a campaign coming up because one of the biggest segments that Progressive Commercial works in is over-the-road truckers, mm-hmm. these long-haul truckers. And when we think of long-haul truckers, Truckers, we think of the Money Guy Show. Of course. Who so, we, so we want you guys to create an eight-part series giving good financial guidance to over-the-road truckers. And we were like, you know what? Money is the same for everybody. <laughs> we don't, you know, we're not specialists in over-the-road truckers. But we're going to lean into this because I want everyone to have the access to to personal finance. Well, we got the shows started. We saw, you know, agreed to do this, and then at the last minute, the producer for for the series came to us and said, "You know what? We need two of these shows, these podcasts that you're doing, to be videos." Oh, oh, oh a video? No, no, we're audio guys. Yeah, we're, we're, we're podcasts. We're, we're podcasts. I don't, maybe you need to go look up what podcasting is. We don't do videos. He said, "You're going to do two videos." So we we used this discomfort or the, this situation where we were requested to do videos, and we did go find a videographer mm-hmm. to help us out. And then I think about the fact that we enjoy creating those two videos and that was actually the the seeds that were planted that sowed us getting into mm-hmm. YouTube because we were like you know what since we're already creating this content why don't we add this visual element and voila September of 2017 was the birth of the Money Guy YouTube channel and here's what's beautiful about decisions like this we didn't have it all figured out if you look on the far left picture right here very different studio than what we're sitting in right now very different setup now Brian consistent as he can be still wearing a sweater vest big sweater <laughs> vest guy throughout our history but you can see that was the setup that was how it started but we recognized an opportunity even though we didn't know about YouTube we didn't have the whole algorithm them figured out we made the small decision to move forward and fast forward it caused some traction and then we hit a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube and now we get to sit here and talk to millions of you every week all because of that decision to take a take a risk do something we'd never done before and it turned out beautifully so Practically, what's that mean for the audience? What's that mean for them? What can they do? Yeah, I wanted to encourage you to be prepared for the opportunity. Specifically, I want you to create more luck in Mm. your life. When I think about the opportunity, what is luck? When I hear people say, man, that person is lucky. Look at those guys. They're lucky. They have a YouTube channel. Do you know what lucky in that moment in time with YouTube was? Is that we had years of preparation. We had been doing the podcast since 2006, and then we had this opportunity come up where Progressive hired us for this campaign. So you look at that intersection point, the opportunity with that preparation of all those years, voila, I give you the luck of our YouTube channel being born. So that's what I'm telling you guys. Don't let somebody tell you you're lucky. You've got to create more Mm -hmm. luck. So what that means is start now taking steps to be prepared. Maybe the thing you want to do is buy your first home, but you don't have a huge down payment. Well, you got to start doing something so that when that house becomes available or when interest rates fall or when home prices come down, you have been taking the small steps necessary to set yourself up to be ready for that. Maybe this is true in your career. You don't know the career change you're going to do, but you're going to go and start working on a different skill set, something a little tangential to what you do now. You're going to go get a certification. You're going to go do some education. You're going to go take a class. You're going to do something to figure out how to prepare yourself so that when the opportunity presents itself, it's something you can jump all over. But in addition to being able to jump all over it, you also have to know how to find and recognize it. And you have to be able to sort opportunities from pipe dreams. You have to be able to recognize, okay, this is something realistically that I can move towards versus, oh, you know what my opportunity, I'm going to go become a professional basketball player. Well, if you're five foot 10 and you didn't play past high school, going to be really hard to be a professional basketball player. Recognize what real opportunities are that you can move towards and what opportunities are not actually going to be the reality that are going to manifest. Yeah, I, I want to lean into the preparation side of this because I think, like you mentioned, a good example, housing. Mm-hmm. I know housing right now is tough, so a lot of people are focused on the now. Well, yeah, there seems to be an obstacle to getting a house, but why couldn't you, in the moment, start doing a little bit of prep? Like you start going, hey, I have a family. 
I think I, I need to figure out where the best school districts mm-hmm. are for my community. I, or I have a career, and maybe I need to go look, just like we did with the move, and say, hey, where's the best place that's going to give me a career opportunity? Do I need to go ahead and do a little bit of preparation now to figure out where that opportunity could be the best? Mm-hmm. And that's what is going to create that look, yep. is that preparation at the intersection of that moment in time is going to make all this happen. So don't overlook this. I've started doing this on commercial real estate. I've started doing this on a lot of life experiences where I'll say, hey, why don't I do a little research on this now? So just in case something comes along Mm -hmm. a few weeks or a few years down the road, I will be prepared and be able to maximize that moment. And then the last thing you have to do is you have to put yourself in a position to take the chance. A lot of folks want to sit back and let life happen. They want the opportunity to present itself, and then they want the opportunity to capitalize on itself. Well, a lot of this takes action on your behalf. So you have to be willing to take the risk, take the step, make the change, make the move, do the thing that is necessary to put you in the place that you want to be in the future, but it is going to take effort on your part. So don't sit back and wait for something to happen. Be an advocate for your future self.